Gra gra boom. Don't run on trip. White woman gets f six days. Now I would say she didn't want it no more. <laughs> That's what we started every video now, bro. Five five word synopsis. White woman gets slammed six cuts like it, but now hey, she's saying yo. no. <laughs> yo, so last month there was a story going on about a, a, a young white lady, man. She was married and um, she was an officer on a duty taking dick, man. Hey, <laughs> and she was dick, bro. Bro. not just one again. dick. Slew a dick, slew of penises, and it was just ram packed back to back to back. And she did it in different places. She did it on the job, she did it off the job. She did an NFL party, she did an NFL game, she did it at hotel rooms right after going go karting. Uh, and she was sending pictures, and she did it at a party where she kissed another man's wife in front of her husband. You guessed it, she is married or was married. However, she claimed open relationship man it was an open relationship my husband he just didn't know what he made now on the details but it was an open relationship now that in and of itself was a story that we could have done you know that in and of itself is just hilarious man six dicks multiple times you gotta chill while on Yo, the job. Somebody white yeah, when I was working at Walmart, oh, I saw fucking in the they, Walmart they were, bathroom. No, in the freezer. Yo, that is nasty, bro. It's nasty, right? right? That, right? Nasty. Yeah, yeah, they fucking in the freezer. I never had a job like that. Have a sex, man. Right now. In, in, uh, in at work, man. For me, I've seen it before. It's normal. Making that's, a video. That's you've done it before? No, I didn't say I did. I just heard about it before. Relationships at work, man. It's normal, man. Of course, people would advise not to do it, but you know, yeah, it's each all, man. You know, y'all get down how y'all want to get down, man. You know, you got to live with them repercussions. You get down how you want to get down, man. She was married, multiple dicks. He didn't know about it, but they tried to figure out. Didn't work out. Now, here we are a month later, man. And she's saying, nah, I really didn't want that, man. Hall knows there are those who will say she was a consenting adult who willingly participated in sexual antics in violation of police department policy. And Facts. that now she wants to blame others, including one sergeant who targeted her early on. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, excuse me, bro. All right. I know what most people are saying. You know, you could have said no. I get it. But my response to them is that I did say no, and he wouldn't take it for an answer. Eventually, I gave in from pressure. So it's not as easy to say. Yo, this is... I'm not going to compare the two, because I don't know the other backstory. It's a little while, like, yesterday, the day before that, I was on TikTok, and it was this, um, this, this, this black woman who, um, who had, uh... A white mother and a black father. Her white mother apparently had started having. I don't know. If she started having. Long story short, she had dementia. Her, her mother had dementia. You feel me? Uh, originally, she told her daughter that, "Hey, look, uh, I was raped and I had you." That's what she told the daughter. The daughter is now in thirties or forties or whatever. Um, grew up predominantly white household. You feel me? On the, on that side of the family, didn't know her other side because obviously she told the story that. You know what I'm saying? I was raped and then I had you and I conceived you. So, of course, that can send mixed emotions. You probably don't want to meet the other side of the family, even though they may or may not have anything to do with it. Right? Okay. Come to find out the one, the mother uh, with dementia finally came, like, she kind of just called her up and kind of finally had to talk where it's like, look, I didn't get raped. Um, I just was embarrassed uh, because basically, you know, your dad was black and I was white and you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess back then or just where they lived at, mind you, I think they lived in Texas. And then, you know, she just was ashamed and embarrassed to go back to the household being like, you know, I had to. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, she told her that shit. Uh, the father ended I think the, the, her dad died when she was six months. She never met the guy, obviously. But that just goes to show, like, I'm not gonna sit here and play the race car, but it's just it's just so interesting. Like all of a sudden now is, yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah. I think that, I think it's just a level of embarrassment. I think she's she got embarrassed because the story got out, and then now it's kind of like I gotta make I gotta make it make sense. Like, like I can't just make it seem like I just was out here wigging. Like niggas was raping, raping me. Long story short, and I feel like that's what she's going for. Say she could have just said no. She did say no on several occasions. Miss Hall tried to get out of this relationship, and she was not allowed to. Hall concedes she participated under duress. She's not saying she was raped, but adds that oh, the salacious okay. details Pardon made me. public of sex on the job put her alone center stage and do not tell. I told. That's okay. 
I figured. So because she caught the backlash that she did, and because she was in the media how she was, and her face was plastered all over and everything like that, and they, like look, look at the imagery at the bottom, my nigga. You feel me? She don't want to be seen like that, so it has to be something like this. They, you, you have to flip it like this because then now it's it, it become a, it's a different story now. Before it was, she was a cop and letting like six niggas, you know what I'm saying, violate viciously. You know what I'm saying? Then <laughs> violate the pooms all crazy while she had hubby at the crib, not knowing what was really going on, not in detail. But but now this makes more sense. Like, oh yeah, it was under, I was under distress. They wouldn't let me say no. I wasn't raped, but I, you know, oh, the whole story. You don't, you don't, I don't play with. Michelle I don't play these games. They accused me and they Personally. blamed me for becoming. I'm on my Dr. Umar shit. I, I can't, I can't, I can't um, fornicate with the white women, respectfully, because this shit happens too often. This shit happens way too often. The victim. So the serious part of the conversation is, you know, obviously the ongoing t talking point that we like to have is, um, when is it okay, or is it is it ever okay? Well, it, it is, but the ongoing conversation about changing your uh, changing consent or changing how you may feel about uh, a certain type of sexual encounter with someone, or um, in her case, multiple people. I just how is it being? I'm not. <sighs> I'm not a half a person. I just feel like because, she, like she just said, because of the media attention and how she was plastered and how she was portrayed, I think that's the reason why she's going for this. I really, I don't think, I think she wanted, like, I think she really consented to a lot of this shit. Like, I'm not going, I obviously wasn't there, so I don't know 110%, but I just feel like that's the reason why she's kind of like backtracking and taking other, you feel me, the other stance on this shit, bro, personally, but. What do I being interpreted because in her mind what she's now saying is that even though yes I kissed someone's wife even though yes I sent pictures even though yes I did fuck on duty even though yes I did go to the hotel part a uh, house party for the hot tub even though yes I did fuck at the NFL game even though yes I did fuck at the football party I did those things Damn. I did those things cool but I was being groomed into doing to do those things I was groomed into doing those things hey. I'm just yeah, saying, if, if we're going to allow that, if that gets a green light, then let's not stop there. When I sign a legal contract that I want to get out of later, even though it's legally binding, even though I committed to it, I should be able to just say, like, bro, I was coerced. That's like, what she said. That's, that's what happened right now. That's exactly what's going and on. They groomed me because I didn't know as much about business as they knew about business. Right. And I really just wanted to make some money, and they took advantage of me. And even though I signed it, you can't. <laughs> Every other aspect of life, when there's a legally binding document, when you agree to do something, you can't just rescind it later because you regret it. That's just called regret. Like, we, like you, we've all made mistakes. We're like, I say, like, you made a bad mistake, or you, or I really just think she wasn't expecting the story to get out. That's really where where she went bad at. Outside of that, she was enjoying herself, my nigga. I, I think because there's no way. All right. You know what? Let me not say that because y'all gonna y'all gonna slant y'all gonna violate me. But I just feel like it's no way, bro. It's no way. After maybe the first or second dude, all right. Third, like it's just I don't know, bro. I just I just think if the media would have painted her in a different light, or if the story would have came out a little differently, I think like she would have been able to get in front of it type shit. I don't think this shit would that happen, bro. I think she'd be Gucci. I think she'd be. I th I don't think the story that we're having right now, where she's retracting her statement before. It, like um, with the lawyer sitting down, I don't think this would be I happening. Shouldn't have done that dumbass thing I did, or I shouldn't have done that stupid thing. Or I sh fuck, I shouldn't even talk to her. Or maybe she and would. This is called regret. You pretending like you legally. Wait a minute. Even the more, more you think know. about it, the more. What's the it's next like, step, Marcel? I don't. I don't know, but yeah, but it's the, the okay. What's the next step? Wait, let me let me continue to play devil's advocate because you know we both are on the same side. Some people say they get tired of us always on the same side. So let me let me pick. Let me let me play the other side. Bro, watch the last let me, video. Let me play the field, man. Damn, that's mad so crazy. Pause. She's saying because they're higher ups, they should have like never like the, her boss. They they were okay. Boss. Okay, okay, okay. In the army, in the military, that's true. If you're a sergeant and, and and somebody's below you, you technically are not supposed to. I think you could get. I think you could actually lose your ranking or, or get stripped, pause, or some other shit like that. If you're a higher ranking than somebody and you kind of fornicate with them, same thing at the job. If I'm a supervisor or a manager, and you're an employee and we're fornicating or whatever the case may be, I could possibly lose my job or I get stripped or or, or, or my position, pause, or I get fired or some shit like that. Cool, I understand that. You know what I'm saying, but. At the same time, I don't feel like, you know what, never mind.
Yes. Power dynamic. The power dynamic. That's yes. what she's saying. I, she's I, saying, I, I, I kind of get that. Without I kind of get that. I definitely start get that. That football game, and it was at the hotel. Yo, he's after violating. Party. And it was at okay, the hotel. Okay, nigga. Yeah, yeah, he's so I, I, I did, I did those things, but it was my charge. Like he was telling me, like you know, da da da. Like it was, a, it was a power dynamic. So if it's a power dynamic, then do you think she has a, she has a case? Um, it, a little bit. Be careful but, now. They're trying to cancel you. Be no, no, no. I, I think a little bit when the mm-hmm. boss has the ability to fire you or yes, promote you. I agree. Because then you can start that. using sexual favors to move to around, move around. The workplace Facts. to get promoted. And, and it happens. Like increase your wealth. It happens. That's why I, 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 I can agree with that part. But I, I agree that that is 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 an option that could definitely happen. I'm not opposed to her saying that that didn't happen, but it's just, again, I just where do we draw the line? Is my it's really my question here because if you can do this, then now this pushes the envelope or this pushes the 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 inner the, the line that's drawn in the ground further and further and further. You know what I'm saying? Maybe with the with the sergeant or whoever's above her, manager, supervisor, whoever, maybe above her, are possibly yes, right? But then let's go let's go further. What about the the coworkers? Are are they now also? You feel me? Like it's just you're grouping all oh, of those really people in the workplace. So like all that plays a role. But at the same time, if we're gonna pretend like just because she decided to fuck with not just one boss, yeah, bro, it's not like so she that's took like, she one dick. Yeah, she took yeah. plenty of dick. That's what I'm she saying. Was fucking married. So at that point. We're basically saying that if somebody has any sort of power over you, whether or, whether or not you're working with them in a workplace, and if if it is if it is happening in the workplace, there's almost always going to be some sort of power dynamic yeah. where the leverage is not entirely equal unless y'all have the exact same role. And even then, that means you guys are probably competing for the same promotion in six months. So there's almost always a dynamic. You can call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. But that's irrelevant to the fact that she took dick, and now all of a sudden she's pretending like she didn't want that oh dick. Oh, my You did in the moment. Goodness, bro. You consented in the moment, and now you're not a consent has just disappeared. It's so I think if that is your boss, like to a certain extent, no, yes. Without but it doesn't, I, I make, without you, yes, it doesn't make you not responsible for your actions anymore. No, nope. you're not like doesn't. fucking. You know when you get the star in Super Smash and you you're can do whatever, fuck now, you, you yeah. do whatever the fuck you want to do. Nigga, you are not invincible just because that's your boss doing it. You like because oh. at the same time, the same way you going out and 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 doing this and, and you know what I'm saying, pursuing with suing and that, every, all that shit, you could kind of have done that at the beginning if he pursued you. Maybe not even initially when he first came at you, but let's say he made a sexual advance and then you did it because you were fearful that you were going to lose your job, whatever. Now you got a case right there. If you do anything else, you just, you, you record that or you get that information, pull up to the lawyers. Mind you, you work for the police. You feel me? You're getting bread. You're getting bread regardless. You know what I'm saying? So it would just, it would just be a little different. Uh, I, I, That's why I'm kind of a little... I'm a little weary about like how I feel about this right now, but again, if it was really that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you would have tried to pursue the case a little bit sooner, at least on the sergeant or whoever the fuck, but maybe I'm bugging. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. This is a little awk. I ain't gonna lie. A little wakiana. Shitting me.